Zelensky visits recaptured Izium and Pope reiterates appeal for peace in Ukraine. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky visits the recaptured town of Izium after Kyiv's troops expelled Russian troops from swaths of territory. The Kremlin says Kyiv's ongoing ambitions to join NATO still present a threat to Russia's security. The front line in eastern Ukraine is approaching the borders of the self proclaimed Russia backed Luhansk People's Republic, LPR according to a military commander in the breakaway region. How many deaths will it take for peace to prevail in the country? Addressing an outdoor mass while on a visit to Kazakhstan, the head of the Catholic Church said the only solution to the conflict is peace and the only way to arrive at such an outcome is through dialogue. The Pope had earlier told the Russian Orthodox hierarchy and other faith leaders at the 7th Congress of Leaders of World and Traditional Religions, a meeting that brings together Christians, Jews, Muslims, Buddhists, Hindus and other faiths, that religion must never be used to justify the evil of war. In the audience was Metropolitan Anthony, in charge of foreign relations for the Russian Orthodox Church, which has firmly backed Russia's invasion. Ukraine's president has thanked the country's armed forces for their success in retaking territory from Russian forces in recent days, hailing them as heroes. It is probably possible to temporarily occupy the territory of our state. But it is definitely impossible to occupy our people, the Ukrainian people, Zelensky said while on a surprise visit to the retaken town of Izium. Before, when we looked up, we always looked for the blue sky, the sun. And today we, and especially the people in the temporarily occupied territories, looking up, are looking for only one thing, the flag of our state. This means the heroes are here. This means the enemy is gone, they have fled. Izium is located on an important highway that runs from Kharkiv, Ukraine's second biggest city, to the eastern city of Slavyansk, 